Episode 14, right? I don't fucking know. I guess so. Last episode was 13, wasn't it? Yeah. Bonicello. Right. I think that was 14. Because I think the girls was 13. We're retarded. Wow. What episode were we on, babe? I think 14. Babe, look at Aspen's face. <laughs> I think you're on maybe 15. Do you see Aspen's face? No. Oh, dear. What did you smell? She's looking at a fly being like... <laughs> oh, her mouth's palpitating? Um... Cats have funny stares. Yes, they do. They have some funny stares. Them cats, they got some funny looks. Oh, you're right. But they don't got eyebrows like the This dogs. is 15. I am. I'm right. Okay. That's right. All right. Five, four, three. What are we doing? And we're back. We oh, are we're we not just... doing. Fuck. Are we? Oh, are we? That's <laughs> like flat. <laughs> we're just like. Let's use. Let's keep it going. Welcome to episode fifteen. Oh, we're not doing it. Doing what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode 15 of the Wanderers Podcast. Yes. Today we had an interview with Jeremy Taggart, ex-drummer of Our Lady Peace, current he half of... He peaced Our Lady Peace. <laughs> he peaced, yeah. Current half of Taggart and Torrance Podcast. Our boy peaced Our Lady Peace. Our Lady peaced out. He's not the ladies... He's a ladies. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> um, All right. Did you hear that um, <clears throat> Brandon Smalls was releasing that Galacticon 2 thing? Yeah. I can't wait for it. I, I wonder know. if it's going to be just like death metal or not. It sounds a lot like Death Collect. They released like a pre. Yeah, but there was no vocals. Right. Anyway. No, no, no. There is one with vocals now. And there it's death? Yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah. That's sweet. I like that. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After the interview, we we talked about some merch that we have. We got into some deep conversations, deep, deep stuff. Uh, there was some like current we events. Like to do. Yeah. That happened that we we spoke about. Yeah. Fuck. A uh, big icon in the music industry passed, and uh, it really opened up a big conversation between me and Colin. Uh, it was pretty deep stuff. And then, uh, yeah. that's... Hit me right in the feels. Yeah, we had some more stuff. A friend of mine starting up a kind of music podcast company thing. Or rather. Uh, yeah, Dave Sanity. You're welcome, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you owe us. We just train wreck that. No, that's fine. We're using it. Okay. It's okay. Are we using it? We're, I think it's We're allowed to fail, as you'll... Come to yeah, learn. We need from. to fail better, though. Yes, it's all good. But anyway, yeah. And then we, we have also have a special. And then we're not we sandwich. Yeah. What? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we're saying our farewells to our good buddy Randy. One of our best mascots. I can probably say the we, best. I yeah, <laughs> Randy, we love you. It's so funny. I love Randy. He'll come back on the ballot some not right away, but oh yeah. There's going to be lots of lots of episodes of the Wanderers, you guys. Just stay tuned. You'll see him one day. If yeah. if you vote him, that is. He did well. He did well. like this was our biggest voting out uh outcome ever. We had over 50 votes across other platforms and everything. So it was Close, but uh, Hank Hill edged Randy. Oh, you're releasing it right now? Yeah. Yeah, we have to. No, we don't, because we already just talked about this. And we said we're not doing that. So no, we can just fucking... Whatever. Sending our farewell to Randy. We can, we can uh, say the farewell to Randy. Okay, Randy. bye, Randy. 
Fuck you. Fuck this. <laughs> fuck this intro. You can just do a clip where you just fucking... It'll just look like Buddy. Up. It's fine. I'm keeping this. This is all staying in. Fuck you. This is a fucking <laughs> train wreck, and it's glorious. Yeah. We like train wrecks on the Wanderers podcast. Yeah. Uh, we totally just fucked everything up. We had a plan for the intro, and I just screwed yeah, we're it. Yeah, we we're going to be all like, farewell, Randy, and like leave it all mysterious for you guys as to who it is. We already, we kind of like fuck around a little bit announcing who it was after the interview, but yeah, yeah, Meh. we're just, uh, we're keeping it because we're hungry and we want to go. Right. And yeah, so here's the farewell. This is the last time we'll see Randy until maybe the foreseeable future. You may be back. So let's throw to the interview with Jeremy Taggart. All right, Randy. All right, Rand. See ya. See ya. And just like that, I left everything. I dropped out of high school. See ya. I said goodbye to my girlfriend. See ya. And I left my family. See ya. You want to throw down with a hoedown? I'll get my guitar. I'll get my washboard. I'll go get my string bass, which is really a keyboard. Hey, man, I'm going to go get my banjo. Maybe I'm going to go get a little accordion, man. What do you think? No. No, 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 no banjo, man. Go. One, two, three. Hey, yo, man, I'm, I'm going to go, go now. I'm going to take a verse right now. Blue moon up, Kentucky, keep on shining. We'll shine on the one that's going to prove the untrue. Blue moon up, Kentucky, keep on shining. We'll shine on the one that's going to let me blue. Bobby, put that down. That's the jug I keep stuff in. I didn't mean to get into it. No, no, it's my fault, Connie. I told you to saw. Commencing phone call in five, four, three, two, one. I like that. Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> hey, hello. Hey, how's hey, it going? Man, how are you? Good, how are you guys doing? Great. What's Fantastic. going on? Did we catch you at a good time there? Yeah, it's pretty good. Good, good. Uh, for some reason, I'm hearing like a wicked slap back. Slap back? Yeah, I don't know. Something's going <laughs> slap on. Slap back. <laughs> Hold up. We got some technical difficulties. Oh, man. Is it uh, recording on the cam? <clears throat> yeah, it's just your audio is not coming through. My audio? My, mine? Or no, this? Colin's here. Okay. Yeah. I, I hear like a half second delay. Oh, yeah. Last thing I need is my own voice telling me what I just said. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> real. I hate that. Yeah. <clears throat> One sec, we'll figure this out. <laughs> no problem. Did that fix you? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, stop now. Perfect. But that, am yeah, I still I recording now? There we go. His mic was backwards. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Okay. Out of, out of phase. Move. <clears throat> All right. A little bit of a rough start, but yeah, we here got we it. go. We got it. That's got the it. Uh, that's the beauty of the Canadianity <laughs> is technical difficulties. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Leaving it in. I've always actually speaking of that. I wondered <laughs> with you and Torrens, do you do it? You don't do it in the same room, do you? No. Like, you're across the, the the country, aren't you? Yeah, we uh, do it by phone, so it's just a phone call, which is, uh, it's funny, because we did the last episode together, and uh, we, we for a moment, we felt like we had to look away from each other, just because <laughs> we're used to not hearing each other when we're doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, it, I mean, it, it's funny, because at the beginning, you go, man, it's not... It's way easier, definitely, to be in the same room, but uh, you get kind of used to um, 
allowing other people like for him to speak and giving space because that's usually what you you don't get is like if someone's about to talk you can see it in person you know yeah you cross wires a lot more yeah like if you don't listen and uh you, some people well, i found myself too even saying like a lot and um and it's it's almost like oh, we're trying to keep our place that's... in turn like in conversation because everybody like isn't they already have something to say before they're done listening. I don't know. It's weird. Like I, right. I catch myself doing it all the time. Like I'm always just it's, like. But that's that's natural during yeah. conversation. Oh, so yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's the uh, that's what you'd rather natural conversation as opposed to like you're reading something without throwing ums and uh, likes and or just sounding like those generic broadcasters. Or, or <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, I like the you know is one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. The other week we had an interview where it was me and Colin, and then we did a conference call with two other people, and that that was just out of hand because, like, it was, like you were saying, you couldn't tell when one person was talking, and there was points there where all four of us were talking at the same time, and it just... Yeah, yeah one, just one like of the people a... were talking for, like, 20 minutes, and then... <clears throat> yeah. Bad chat line. I said the wrong name, and then they're like, um... <laughs> This is gay or something. One yeah. one of the one of the people was like over a barrel of cocaine <laughs> yeah. and just wouldn't stop. They just wanted to chat. Yeah, it was it was weird. I felt bad because like the one the one girl. Was... My buddy, uh, my buddy Terry's a biker. He wants to come on the call today. <laughs> That's so funny. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Anyway, was it a work call or something? Or no, was it was on the show. They did. Uh, oh, okay. It was a couple of girls from Toronto that did a TV show called uh, "My Roommates and Escort." Okay, I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, so we had them on, and uh, the it got one gr- nuts? well, it didn't get nuts. It just a lot of wires got crossed. <laughs> like it was pretty tame. Can they all just shut up for a second? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the one was pretty quiet, and then the um, the other was talking most of the time. I felt really bad, but it was. And then the talking times that the one girl did time. come in, uh, we were like over talking, talking over her was bad, but it was fun. You live and learn, yeah. right? No, that's the whole point. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, that's that's why we stopped doing guests. Yeah, because <laughs> it was just like for one. Like you gotta find somebody. And number two, it's like, no matter who it is, they they have to tell you about something that they're doing. And usually, unless it's like a comic or someone who's funny, yeah. gently. But even a, a comic or something, like they gotta throw out like the business stuff. Like I'm doing this and playing here. And, yeah, just you know, just kind of. Well, it's just not the plugs. It's not the plugs part. It's just like the conversation that leads up because it's just. It, it gets difficult with gas because everybody has to kind of go through the business side of things too. Yeah. Well, you got. I get it, it for in, like but... for like you guys, like you and Torns, like you already have <clears throat> like a fan base. But for us small guys, like uh, it's pretty important for us to get to get guests. Yeah, no. That's I what hear really you. brings in you. people to our shows. Whereas you for guys, sure. you can do whatever you want, and it's going to be awesome. So. Oh yeah. I really like like the <clears throat> improv stuff that you guys do. It's so funny. Well, we've been uh, having fun, a lot of fun with it. I, I, uh, just because uh, I don't know, since that the uh, last thirty or so episodes, we've just been having a lot of kind of fun with the, the just the concept of the sketch side of things, and um, so and and you know we're doing other things, not just the book and the uh, the pod, but we're working on some other things that are would involve t- uh visuals you know television or yeah. recordings or so is this a so, business plan so, uh, uh, like, <laughs> no but i'm saying just I'm the scared. realm of when you learn how to to when you're working on that stuff and it, it you have to keep it in mind and then i think the fact that some of these characters that that we've come up with have really got a vibe and a life and it would actually be funny to see something like an andrea then that's actually shot you know <laughs> or the one with the blue it, it, yeah for sure bon, <laughs> bonnie i mean just the conceptually and and the, the, the whole thing about these some of these people it's just uh the way it looks would be just as funny you know what i mean it would add to it so 
So that's sure. you're you're working on that right now, aren't you? <clears throat> yeah, we're working on it. Is it green light or is it just your? No, there's there's no green lights. Or there's just uh, lights. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. just uh, it's early in the process, but it's uh, it's not like we, something that you cool. you don't have to shoot a pilot or anything or or pitch it to anyone. Well, well, we're shooting stuff, so yeah, I guess in a way that's that that is that, but um, we don't want to be specific as to for what yet, you know what I'm oh, saying? Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's all good though. Like mm-hmm. it's it's just been it's been it's been interesting to kind of take it to the next step with that. I mean, we started just converse, conversations and like you we were talking about earlier with guests, but then some of these characters that kind of came to life with uh the 10 minutes that we mess around with them and build them up it's kind of like songwriting in a way you, you get a, a a chorus or a, something that ties the song together and you kind of work it up and make it make it into something and that's where we're at with some of these sketch ideas yeah i totally get what you mean i i heard something recently that kind of clicked with me too like even movies like in in a sense are just songs right cuz they're like moments in time that are all coordinated like there's transitions in music and like all that but it's all just one big song i don't know well, it's yeah just no your form yeah, yeah there's a there's a technical side of 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 what those things are but mm. i mean at the end at the end of the day the best movies and songs and things that we like are generally based on something very original or something that that would make us laugh or whatever something kind of that catches you by surprise it, so the, it boils down to basically storytelling mm. yeah or like reference to like insight into your life and stuff like that well that's how we're programmed to learn things and that's how stuff's been passed on through story yep. right? yeah oral yep. culture for sure mm-hmm. yep and that's why the book kind of was a was a, a good fit for us because it's both mostly storytelling and and also celebrating canada so it's pretty pretty natural to go the book route for sure so has that been released yet no, it comes out october 17th okay and you wrote it yourselves right both you and yes John? yeah and it's okay. yeah harper collins <clears throat> is putting it out and you can actually pre-order it to, like wherever uh indigo.ca or whatever else you can get it on the twitter handle we have a pre-order clicker if you want to check it out early that's oh, sweet. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. It, pre-orders are good to build up. It like shows what the book sales like. It's good for um, the production, like how much they're gonna. Definitely, for sure, for sure. Kind of like and, anticipating uh, how much you're yeah, gonna sell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, and uh, I haven't asked them that yet, so we're looking forward to hearing. I guess those numbers, like, hey boys, print up four hundred fifty <laughs> copies. Yeah, but you have like your viewers and stuff. <laughs> Uh, I would or like your listeners. A strong percentage of them are going to buy the book, and no, no, I definitely. I, the, the, I think everybody seems to be pretty stoked, and we're having actually we're going to tour the country on on the launch of the book with uh, book signings as well as live podcasts. So that'll be cool too. Yeah, in the fall for sure. Where are you where are you guys based again? Uh, just ten minutes uh, north of Kitchener Waterloo. Okay. So you could make it to a couple. There's probably going to be two or three in southern Ontario. So yeah, you're going to come on out. Oh, for sure, times. for sure. Yeah, awesome. but it'll be. I mean, but the, that'll be. Uh, it's a good kind of next step for us. Is is we're doing a lot more kind of theater type places, less club vibes. You know what I mean for yeah. the live stuff. So uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, could you sure. like and like I know when you left. Our Lady Peace, did you have any of this in the pipeline, or is this all just kind of happened naturally? Well, I've been kind of, I think, uh, on this road for sure for the last four or five years. I mean, if if not before, with the the, pod, the podcast that I had like 10 years ago, um, it was called Taggart's Take, and it was on chorus radio stations across the country, and basically it was what podcasts are now but nobody listened to them you know they didn't know how to get them or anything like that but it was uh just clips and i had you know interviewed bands and stuff like that but it was mostly just me kind of fucking around in in the studio and making 
weird shit and bits and, and playing drums and and that, that kind of evolved into um, just keeping I'd always been doing broadcasting stuff like I'd done radio stuff co-hosting or sitting in for places and I started working for TSN as well doing sports sports radio so just kind of a lot of different shit in the broadcasting realm and when I started doing the Jay and Dan pod uh, on the re- on the reg as a segment that's uh, when when I, I kind of thought well I, I should start up my own podcast again and then when I heard Jonathan on the Jay and Dan pod I was like man this would be way better if he joined me and we could make make uh, a pod together and he was felt the same way and that was it I mean we were really right away there was there was traction uh with people digging it and i think we've talked about it content or whatever i mean it, it all it is is our hourly conversation mm-hmm. and uh i know i've always had great conversations with jonathan mm-hmm. both of us really like to laugh uh we we kind of go through life looking at it as humor is the best way to get through and uh uh, our conversations are great and, and that, that's why I think people relate to the pod it's like they're kind of sitting with us and enjoying the conversation yeah it's definitely free flowing and hilarious I love it yeah <clears throat> thanks man. I didn't, I'm glad you guys dig it yeah mm-hmm. I didn't catch on until like real late um I had always heard you like I listened to Jay and Dan was really the first podcast that I listened to faithfully and yeah, I, yeah, I'd always I love- heard you on there it's a great show, and those guys were are really similar in terms of we're the same age and we like the th- same things. So going on their show was was uh, was a real treat early yeah. because they're they're great. They're the greatest. They're such good dudes. You know, I can't wait for them to be back. Yeah, people are pumped, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I don't know. Are they doing much PR stuff yet, or is it just basically word of mouth? Like, well, they've done they've done ads and stuff like teasers. Yeah. And but I mean, it won't. They're they're probably just gonna hit it hard on September first. But they've done a little bit of pre pre teasers and they've done a little bit of press. But um, I think they're just gonna hit the ground running. It'll be great to have them back, man. When, and especially when their pods back up, which yeah. it will be. Oh yeah. So, so do you yeah. know anything about what the show is going to be like? Is it going to be like what it was in America, or are they just going to go right back to the sports highlights? I th- I think uh, the beauty of it is is uh, uh, those guys love sports and they love probably sports highlights. And the way that they are, I think do it best is when they're given you know six or seven clips from the day and the, and they react to them. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what they're going to do guaranteed and. They'll probably have a, a fancy new set, and uh, hold on a second. Sorry, I had one of those beeps there. Uh, uh, they'll probably have a great new set and all that stuff, but it'll just be nice to have them back in Toronto, to be honest, because I, I was getting sick and tired of having to text them and never see them in L.A. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. went down a few times, did you not? I did. I, I was down there a couple times just like on business no not uh and then the christmas party was a was a real gas i went down specifically for that but uh, you guys uh like jim and all them y'all always had these big plans <laughs> like making <laughs> trips but it never happened and i know i know that's the sad part it would have been cause... fantastic <laughs> i know you know but, but those trips will happen again and, and i think the, the cool thing is we'll uh, we'll uh invite jim up and he would look at it as like a vacation. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, for sure, definitely. I'm, I'm could, trying could, so hard to get him on our show. Yeah, yeah, and he'll probably be that. He'll he'll help out. No, he'll do it. He always responds to everybody, right? Yeah, he responds, but he's always saying, "He's like, oh, I'm busy. working on it. <laughs> he's like, I'll do guy, it one right? day." So, he but, is busy. They they yeah. lower him with stuff. He's doing audio all day. Mm-hmm. So imagine. for sure. Yeah, he does all of the big Fox stuff for the sound, like the Super Bowl and everything, right? So yep, the World yeah. Series, like all their big, big stuff. So he's, I understand, he's got a lot of work to do. I can't imagine for sure. <clears throat> but yeah, are you guys uh, are you guys fans of like 
sports or is it just Jay and Dan the way that they are? No, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Jason's more of the sports guy. Yeah, I'm a big sports guy. Colin's not so much, but uh, mm. yeah, I've I've liked sports my entire life. Played football in high school and tried out in university and stuff. And nice. Yeah, I'm a big sports fan too. That's why I, I, it was fun to. It's fun to do radio because when you do a string of radio, you get to really you know, hone in on what's happening specifically on a bunch of different sports. And that, that to me is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. What do you think of the Jays? <laughs> they're, they're shit, <laughs> but I knew they were, I knew they were going to be shit. Like as, as soon as, uh, Encarnacion was gone and they didn't really replace him. Like sure. Morales is, he's all right, but it's not even close to the same run production. No. So, and so I don't know. It's just uh, that that was the beginning of the end, and I just could sense that that there's just there's an element with with Rogers is that they they when when big decisions like that are made, if they're gonna say okay, let's spend another thirty million dollars on our on our team roster, then that probably goes all the way up to the top of the the totem pole for Rogers. And they look at data, and 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 they look at all the the phone systems and all the the sh- the shit that they get from from their cable, and then they see the Blue Jays like probably down there, way below yeah. that stuff. And then they go, oh, they want that much money, and they just cross it off. They say, no, actually, here's less money because <laughs> this is the, I'm keeping my job for the bottom line of making more money and. This it's not like your own you own a horse where it's just you're okay with losing money. Yeah. They see the revenue, but they don't want to spend anything. Yeah, it's always you know? they always want to make more. They're not okay with uh, yeah they sustainability. Got lucky. They want growth. Yeah. I think they got lucky with the the way things worked out a couple years ago. But I just think it's a long way from being a contender again because boston and new york are back right well the thing is like i think this boils all down to losing anthopolis because like shaparo's team no money though like he he probably was like why would i want to be here if i I could tell that was the sense like why would he want to be in a place where there's there's just not they don't really care to win like the the yankees where they have to win in the sense of the history of winning. It, it's not yeah, something that happens. Just, a, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think they were going to spend the money on it. A Rogers. built that team in that mentality, in that environment. And then yeah. they, they were succeeding. And then as soon as he leaves, they have one or two good seasons. And it's really it was really just Shapiro shopping with somebody else's groceries. Like That wasn't his team. That was AA's team. Yeah, I know. But like He you, made a really, few big uh, deals, but... I just don't think he, they were going to continue with that mindset of like, go big or go home, which is what they kind of had to do. Because it, it's not like they were going to get any better than those those last two years, and especially the year before last, where I don't think they would have got any further with spending. You know, it would have been like, okay, they spend thirty million on price, you know, or something ridiculous. Yeah. It just wasn't going to happen. And that's probably, I think he just looked at it as a, and I don't think they were offering him really squat, right? No, I think that's a big reason why he left. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. They're cheap. And they own like all the sports teams in Toronto. No, I know. It's it, well again. It's it's a it becomes a, a situation when you're dealing with people who are making more money for different things, and you're kind of like you're just a a. a a hip part of the the company, you know, it's not cool. No, it's whatever salad is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you guys got anything else? Or are you guys sorted? Oh, uh, well, I did. I'm I'm curious as to if you're still doing music. Uh, a little bit. I mean, I'm still practicing and, and drumming, and still kind of keeping my head and, and listening to a lot of music, but I'm just so busy with the family and all this other stuff that, that it, I, I can't like join a band, mm-hmm. you know, on the weekends or something like that. That's not really how it works. So mm-hmm. either, either something comes that will make sense to, 
to take that opportunity or I just kind of keep keep up my chops and keep all, all things going. You know what I mean? I'm sure I'll play again, but just at this point, I'm kind of really focusing on what I I feel that, that I can do under this, the certain reasons of, of, of uh, accomplishing my own successes. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much where I'm at right now is just kind of uh, still still in the, the free fall mode of the leap of faith of leaving the band and all that stuff. So it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm still reeling in a, in a great way, but the, the, the path that I took is just kind of making sense and it's starting to work. Oh, that's so, good. Yeah, for that's sure. Good. Good to hear. Hey, do you know uh, Brian Byrne from uh, I Mother Earth? For sure, yeah, I love Brian. He's awesome. Yeah, we we've been trying to get him on from day one. Yeah, he yeah. Keeps, he's keeps, a good uh, dude. I'm sure he'll be. He he probably be. He's happy probably to busy come on. too, but like... well, he is busy, but he's ignored us. Like he's he's told us he'd do it like five or six times and and flaked every time. Hey man, so. you know what it is that you got to keep trying. Like I, oh yeah, I, tenacity. I'm, uh, just... I'm actually one of the best at getting back, and that was still took me like fucking I don't know how many times with you guys. Yeah, so it's not just keep trying. It's they're not being dicks. They're just being no. like busy, and they never it never hurts to keep asking. And I think he's going through a bit of a career change too, because he's getting more into the business side of the music uh, ever since yeah. Edwin came back, and they kind of I don't know if they kicked him out or if he just left. But yeah, I think they kind of kicked him out. But yeah, uh, the the. Uh, I mean, he was doing radio for a bit. Now I guess he's in some company with the music coins or whatever it yeah. is. So yeah, I mean that seems like a cool idea. Hopefully it works. He's a great dude. Yeah, I, I really want him on here. But yeah, me too. Me too. It's, it's tough, and I get it. Like uh, people are super busy. They definitely don't have the time that we have. So yeah, no. but I, I like to try. To get to yep. to reach reach for the bigger ones, anyways. Like, yep, keep trying. That's the thing. And let them. To be honest, I mean, it, if you guys were a, a, a radio show somewhere, I mean, they do the exact same thing that you guys are doing. Just asking people, and yeah, if you have an outlet where it's like, hey, we have a podcast. It's it's actually there. You people can go and listen. That's that then. It's pretty much the same thing. It becomes just a grind of trying to find people that that will work out and be a, a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that's my mentality, right? Is just ask. For yeah, sure. it's my, gotten my, us to make it easier. Just don't make them like come out too too quick in between, <laughs> or gotta keep it regular like the pods. But if you're trying to do like one every week it's it, yeah. it's a lot harder than you think to try and get oh i know we're on 14 <laughs> now so yeah well, well i think we were we, we went like every week and a half a lot and then like sometimes two weeks but uh that's more based on busyness but yeah that, we're gonna we're, we're really trying to get it down to one a week in, you. in the beginning that we were kind of like set on the one a week thing and then yeah. you know we kind of did three in a row and then we're like oh let's just take a week off and that's yeah. basically yeah. been what we've been doing is th doing three then taking a week or two off and yeah yeah just kind of we kind of let go of um uh, like a, a structure like we were, in the beginning we wanted structure but i think yeah, we we're, had like we're a doing a lot we're better down, without but... structure oh yeah so yeah. just no, kind of okay. going yeah. with the flow yeah, well, sometimes those lists are just to give you a concept of what you want, and then you start to understand what it is, and then you go keep going. That's, yeah, that's that's fine for sure. Like if you outline it before, I found we were kind of trying to jump back into the skeleton, whereas now it just kind of happens naturally. We can just we know where to go, what points to bring up, and we know when to do it and when to do the shows, when not to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm afraid of skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> 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 are you really <laughs> not really well if one started walking like, yes. yeah. oh, that would be terrifying <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, was, my skeleton kind of, would just leap out of my body i'm well, pretty sure well my skeleton yeah. walks around all the time or even like the game of thrones like the, the white walkers like that they're skeletons that's oh, yeah. pretty creepy are you caught up on that or oh yeah i'm right on it 
for sure. Oh, it's amazing. I was just it's thinking last night, like, their production value is, like, unrivaled. It's unbelievable. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got to be more than, like, because it's just one one a week. I, I bet you it's probably bigger than films if you took the whole season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I think, it's ridiculous. I think they do $10 million an episode at least yeah, for and the, money. Yeah, and the... The battle scenes and, and I mean the oh. the battle scene last year was ridiculous. I can't imagine what this next one when it's all the armies combined. I like, know. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. It's it's definitely a cultural uh, phenomenon. And this get... this why is there only seven and apparently they're condensed? You could tell that first one was a total setup well, episode for sure. I think because they're they have to film in winter from now on. Oh, that's probably so why, yeah. It's a lot harder Unless to get... they go to the uh, Unless they go to the uh, Arctic. Yeah, like Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, way up or way down. They can, Maybe they can go shoot an alert, alert. <laughs> the whole, the, what was that? Alert, way up there. The alert? The, the top of Canada. Oh, yeah, like Baffin Island and oh. all that stuff. Further, yeah, all the way up to the top where there's only like, the, yeah, Jonathan went up there for that special that he did. The Canada Day special. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's the, the northernmost point of, I think it's oh, the northernmost alert. point yeah. of any country. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's alert. like a per- the fir- most northern uh, permanent yeah. settlement. Yeah. But, and it's, it's cold up there, boys. You probably fire yeah. up an episode of winter up there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Everybody didn't die. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty desolate. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's not that far from the North Pole, man. It's it's pretty close. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, Game of Thrones, good times. It was awesome. My kid, my kids are downstairs going ape shit right now, <laughs> and they're by themselves, so I'm worried they're gonna start going nuts. All right, well, we'll let you uh, go rein in the, the children. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can hear them screaming, but no, uh, we can't. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Sounds like Pink Floyd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kids going insane. That's funny. I Turn heard it. Pink Floyd's coming to Canada from playing a show. Pink no, Floyd? No, Roger Waters. Roger Is it Roger Waters? Waters? Okay. Yeah, and it's it's incredible. You got to go see it. I want to go see it here in October in Toronto. Is it The Wall? Well, not really. No, does, it's he us does, and them, I think. Yeah, he just does oh, select okay. jams throughout. He released his something new, didn't he? Yeah, he's got a, a new record, but it's mostly his hit, like Pink Floyd hits with anti-Trump, like classic anti-Trump <laughs> sentiment. Okay. Oh, you hear yeah. your kids now. Yeah, they're going. And now we hear them, yeah. You better get down there. All right, guys, thanks for right. having me on. Thanks yeah, for coming Yeah, thanks on. for coming on. Talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah take have a good care. one. Bye. Bye for now. All right, Jammer Taggart, ex-Our Lady Peace drummer, current Taggart and Torns. Yep podcast so check it out if you haven't and uh yeah it was a great conversation oh we get to throw to the new guy oh yes we do are we uh we're doing it are you, you want to say it or am i gonna say it or... uh hank hill God hank buddy damn it God bobby damn it that boy ain't right <laughs> <laughs> Why would anyone do drugs when they could just mow a lawn? Oh no, my eyes are turning bloodshot. I'm going on a trip. I look like I'm doped out of my gourd. Thanks, Hank, for bringing us back to back to reality. Thanks, buddy. So, Hank Hill, Wait. winner. Oh fuck! Can you turn the light on? I fucked it up. Ah. Uh... Yes, coming out of my ass. <laughs> oh, I thought you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. The fabric is just popping. All right, we're starting there. All right. Mm. Whatever. Oh, All right. right. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Hank. Fuck. Yeah, we had a little. Well, technical we'll use that. Yeah, we'll use that. I think it'll. It'll we'll pan use, out. We'll we'll, we'll use we'll, it. We'll.
We'll use this too. We'll use it all. We'll use everything. We just won't even. Did we even cut the camera? Out. No, we didn't. We Everything's been rolling the entire time. Literally just chop it up. It's just like, you should even just chop it like me just doing it right now. Just like those different <laughs> positions. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, like cut it in and back yeah. and forth. Yeah. And then we'll do like weird positions. Yeah, okay. But no, we don't have to do that. I'm going to try that, but it might fail miserably. I don't use the most powerful editing software. Yeah, so I noticed this camera right here. Oh, yeah. Has been janked. Rejanked. Yeah. Into being operational. During the whole interview, we had uh, this angle right here. Just, but. That was pretty much. <laughs> we got it back. We yeah, now have two cameras once again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty much showed my whole apartment there in one little flick of the wrist. A flick of the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> you can go by. Yeah. You don't have go to. By. This is like, like trying a... to be a ninja. Look at this. No. She's like ninjaing <laughs> across the couch. That's oh, um, one thing we can talk about is I started picking up the guitar again. Bro. Bro. I got to get an amp, though, because I don't have one. I saw one on Let Go for 150, a line six. I also broke a string because they're. I think I have strings. Here. I'll look for nice. you before you go. I want to get another... But I may need to use them too. So. Oh, whatever. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I um, uh, I want to get a an acoustic again too. Yeah. Um. I've been playing more acoustic than anything lately because I haven't had a um, chord for a while. It's been at my cousin's and he's usually gone or I just haven't made it over there yet. I will be doing that soon, hopefully this weekend, um, when I see him. We just went to um, Maxwell's last night. Yeah, I saw Mitch was on uh, Facebook. What was that? Um, North Lane, Intervals, and... Uh, oh, my gosh. North Lane's gent, aren't they? They're not so much gent. They're more progressive metal. Oh, like wait. Progressive rock metal-ish. Yeah, I, I think know. I know them. They're I don't know if I'm a big fan or not, but... Oh, uh, you're probably not. It's probably not your cup of tea. They, they used I, to they have, like, really an old good. singer, and then they got a new singer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, it's not... They did a really... Like, the sound at Maxwell is, is so good. I love it. I'm so glad that's so close to home. Like Yeah, Maxwell's is awesome. It's... It's... Um, even... They didn't even fill up the whole place. I was super surprised... Um, it was, uh, when my cousin played, they, like, when they do, uh... Yeah, they cut it in half. Yeah, they're on the bigger half. Oh, really? But, um, I have seen it completely open, and, uh, it was pretty cool. And e each time, like, the sound is, I haven't had a complaint yet. So, yeah, um, no, we... We went there, and then, I don't know what I was going to say after that. I got distracted. Yeah, that. we were just talking about North Lane and shit. Oh, yeah, North Lane. Yeah. North You're Lane. saying something about the size? I don't know. Who gives a shit? Size my, <laughs> size my dick. Yeah, it was, uh, no, it was a good show. That's pretty much what I can say about it, other than I was super tired this morning. Because I only got like four hours of sleep. Oh, yeah. What time did you get back? Well, even getting back so soon, they were done playing at 11. And then we got back by like 20 after 11, which was super sweet. It was like, it was so easy to yeah. get in, so easy to get out. Like, it wasn't super crowded. We literally just walked up to the front and we were just like at the front the whole time for intervals and, um, have you ever listened to Intervals, actually? They're more, like, they're not gen. They're more, like, uh... Like, asking me if I've listened to new bands is yeah. just pointless. Yeah. Because I don't go out and search for new bands very often. Yeah. I mean, if I Lately, come across I them... either. Um, but no, Intervals is worth checking out. They uh, just released some new music. It was funny, because the guy... Um, 
the rhythm guitarist. He he had like this one part where he was like plucking the individual strings and he like messed one up and he just like stops right in the middle of that. He's like, fuck. <laughs> 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 It was it was hilarious, but then he like got right back into it. You could just like see him like concentrating so hard. It was oh, sweet. Okay, uh, news. Winter Sun has the new album out today. Dude, the four seasons. I was literally just fucking thinking about that like not too long ago because I was listening. To or the tomorrow, time. tomorrow, not today. Huh. Tomorrow, Friday, Tomorrow's gonna July twenty first. Tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Yeah. But today is actually a pretty fucking sad day. Uh, I don't know if you heard the news. Oh, even. the Lincoln Park guy. Yeah. Yeah. Chester. That's unfortunate. He it was is. in the middle of a tour That's too. Fucking crazy though. That's two in like not even a. It hasn't even been a month. And you know what else is Chris crazy? Uh, he was a singer for Stone Temple Pilots as well, and Scott Weiland died Dude. just recently. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. I don't know if Wyland. I, think I don't know was, why my brain just went to this, but I'm like, dude, their record sales are probably skyrocketing well, right now. But I don't know. I don't know. It's record kinda, sales has, haven't skyrocketed since like 2000. Downloads skyrocketed. Yeah, downloads. And no, definitely, so like their though, YouTube like, plays are going up today for like sure. Like, what's happening in fucking Hollywood, man? Like, we're all. It's these it. It's not necessarily like. I don't think it's it's not like anything's changed. We just have a bigger window into people's lives, and like, there's so much more but polarization. But why is fucking killing themselves? That's why I don't understand. I like, think it just it, it's always happened. It's happened since the dawn of I civilization. Understand. I understand like that part, but like, why are all these people and all these musical artists that we've I think grown I don't up think with, that's like, the question we should know. be asking. I think we should be asking why isn't there a support system that we can rely on? Yeah. Like I understand I've gone through depression and I'm I'm dealing with anxiety right now. Mm-hmm. And I think the biggest obstacle is yourself. Oh yeah, 100% like cuz like it, me Six months ago, compared to me now, I mean, I'm getting more anxiety issues now, but I'm dealing with them, mm-hmm. right? So it's just people have to be aware of what they can do and just not give up. But sometimes people give up. It's just the way. Well, sometimes there feels like no place to go. Like you said, there's You're no- also kind of not in the most uh, logical state. Mm-hmm. Like your brain isn't really as at its peak, right? It's mm-hmm. it's clouded. Well, it gets your, to that your judgment is fight clouded. or flight mode where it's like you know you're yeah. you're in this state and you don't know which way to go and it's you know your body reacts to that and your emotions react to that before you can logically you know assess the situation and look at the light at the end of the tunnel and yeah. that's even like the people. Like, we go through life thinking, if I'm famous, I'm going to be happy, and, like, all these people are going to love me. It's and pretty like go- that. pretty obvious that that's not the fact. Yeah, and like, it's becoming more and more apparent, especially because of this window that is, you know, being opened into people's lives, and it's just something that, you know, it's, you know, the bell let's talk. It's like, you know, people talk about, about for a week or whatever, and then, you know, everybody just kind of closes off again. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's Some, a thing that... There's two things... I, um, like, there's things that you can take inspiration from. Personally, there are two two different people that I, that have helped me in, just in, like... Jesus. Just, like, no, just, no, <laughs> just in, like, these inspirational videos that you watch on YouTube. Yeah. So there's a video of The Rock talking about how he went through depression, and he all he said is, he's like, I just wanted someone to come up to me and say... It's going to be okay. One day, you'll be okay. And that, like having people like that is monumental. Like it's in recovery for sure. And then another thing I watched was uh, Peter Dinklage saying, a lot of people are depressed because of failure. He's like, well, go out 
and fail. You're going to fail. He says, mm-hmm. go out and fail. He's like, just fail better. Yeah. Right? So it's just saying, be relentless. Don't give up. Like, and It's okay to fail because that's the only way we learn. That's how we're... That's how you build... That's how we're genetically engineered. Yeah. Or designed or what, if how we've evolved or whatever. It's just... Yeah, part of our nature like failure is up, the foundation other, of success like it's but we're living in a time too where we can see the failures of others in such a broad well, scale it's polarized and that's you know what i mean like i feel like if you're willing to look into all these videos like it's one thing to watch all these motivational videos and stuff but to actually like start putting things into practice like when i started going to the gym and stuff and you know that move to action is what makes you realize like how much power you really have in your own life you just you know you take action i just wish there was more awareness that's the one thing Mm -hmm. and the the problem with depression is you don't tell anyone mm -hmm. like that's it's so hard to to notice well fucking i'll tell it right now like even today i was fucking depressed like all day at work and yeah you know, I didn't want to do the show. Like, I didn't feel up to it, and I pushed through it. Yeah. And you know what? I feel better now. I feel like I'm actually fucking doing something but rather I'm than sitting there and, you know, like I've been in that state where you're staring off into blank space and you're, you're just so It's many funny thoughts. because I was doing the, contemplating the same thing. Yeah. I was just like, I really don't feel like doing it, but... I didn't want to... It's like going to the gym, too, sometimes. Like, it's pushing through that and then yeah. seeing what's on the other side of that and, you know, not, you know, expect nothing, appreciate everything. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, like you said, don't, you know, we have this huge idea in our head, but don't be let down by the fact that's probably like a one in a million chance. Like it's, you know, yeah, to grow something so big, you know, it takes work and it takes relentless just work effort. and effort. And, you know, we're getting there. Like a lot of times we look into the windows of all these people's lives who are so successful and it's like, holy fuck. Like I, how is my life not like that? Like, you know what I mean? But it's not like it's not going to be one day. Right. Like, like you said, it's the possibility it's somebody coming there. up to you and saying, like, it's going to be okay. Be all right. Like, you're going to be, okay. one day you're going to be good. Yeah. And you know what? Like, today we're good. Yeah. You know, we're sitting here and we're. Just talked to Jeremy Taggart from Our Lady Peace. Yeah. Like, he was one of those those big figures for a long time in Canada, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, so. And even with him, like, he took a leap of faith. Right. And he, you know, we're taking a leap of faith with the show and everything. Yeah, and that's the thing. These these big, big uh, icons or celebrities, they have to worry about their image. And, they, like, they take faith. Like, they take um, a risk with us. Like, we could be fucking assholes. Or I think a lot of these artists, and I've heard it being brought up a lot, too. And what I've been trying to fall like fall in love with more is just the climb you know like once you get to a certain point in a certain status when you have all the girls and all the money and all the fame and all the cars and all the stuff that they promise you with fame and all this stuff it's like you get to this point where there's nothing to climb to you know because you feel like you have it all and then that's when people go into a depression like the way i've been kind of looking at my life lately and it's been keeping me up on most days too is just looking at where I am right now like I'm not super wealthy or anything but I feel like one day I will be yeah because of the mind state that I've had in the last year or so since I haven't been working at a factory like you know now starting to believe in myself about things and you know that's all it takes right you know rock bottom's a good foundation to build you gotta upon, get there you know I mean? that's the, that's the thing mm-hmm. you gotta get there to know where it is right it's only up from here people 
Yeah. You follow us. You wander with us. Just don't we're give wander up. Wander to the brighter side. If you need help, ask for help. Like don't. There's no shame in asking for help. <clears throat> don't let it get to that point. Because that point is devastating, not just for yourself, but for everyone around you. Well, you might not believe this, Bobby, but I get stressed all the time. You? Yep, but I don't give up. I face my problems. Stress isn't bad, Bobby. Heck, if we weren't stressed about the Nazis taking over Europe, we wouldn't have fought World War II. What's bad is letting stress make your life miserable. All right, well, I think we can uh, move on. Yeah. I think... Uh, Hit the old dusty trail, or...? Well, let's talk about the merch. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so we finally have some merch for you. On Lovely Not quite listeners. on order. We're taking uh, orders first, and then we're going to then we're gonna buy them. Uh, we're making shirts. Your choices are black or smoke, or white or smoke. Yeah, no, we can't do black because it just doesn't work. Yeah. Because we have black in the logo. Yeah. But there's it's just the logo, no words or anything. Um, each shirt, any size, is $25. So if you want any of that, we'll have to work out any shipping or anything if we have to send to anyone. Mm -hmm. But the base price is $25. Uh, you can get at us on Twitter or Facebook, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Yep. Um, that also brings me up to another point is a friend of mine, uh, had started, he's going to be starting his own podcast and he's starting his own production company for music. He's based in Cambridge, Ontario. Uh, he's a sound engineer. He does a lot of like hip hop and rap stuff for a lot of the local people. Um, so you can catch him on Facebook at, uh, Dave Sanity Music on Twitter uh, at Dave Sanity Music, on Instrument, Instagram at Dave Sanity Music, and on YouTube awesome. at Dave Sanity Music. Yeah, guys, go check it out. Yeah, I don't think when he has any contact, no, content it, up yet, comes, but yeah, I told him to give With him a shout-out. We'll probably have him on the show. Oh. Hmm. Flowers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's a squatter. All right, we're back. Thanks, Hank, no, buddy. We're, no, we're not back. We're not back? Yeah, we are. We've muffed this like seven times. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, fuck it. I'm grabbing it later. It's, it's too far for me to reach right now. All right, we're back. Thanks, Hank. Thank you, Hank. So I think I'm going to use a lot more than just Hank. Because, like, I've been watching King of the Hill a lot lately. Uh, I think I'm going to use a lot of the secondary characters, well, like, like Dale and Bill and Boomhauer. shit with him in it. Like Obviously, yeah, he'll be there. But so his funniest moments are when he's talking to people. Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm definitely going to use uh, more people than just Hank. Whereas the other people, like Randy Find, like, eight-second clips, though. Like, I don't want to get nabbed for that no, shit. No, we're not going to get nailed for that. Fucking get some YouTube poop. <laughs> oh, for sure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> you feel sorry for yourself. All right, so we're going to end uh, on that. Yep. Yeah. So get yourself some merch if you want. Just let us know. Check out Dave Sanity. Uh, he's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, we had a great interview today with Jeremy Taggart, ex-drummer of Our Lady Peace. He's in uh, one half of the Taggart and Torrance. It was a good interview. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it because we did. Yeah. For sure. It was a yeah. good one. I didn't talk too much during the interview, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. It got a little sportsy, and I, I know nothing about <laughs> sports. One day I'll delve into it. No, you won't. No, I won't. There's no way. No. You have to find a sport that you like. That. Yeah, it's true. It's not like I don't like this sport. Like it's just I don't care to follow it. Like in I don't know. Anyways, okay. that's it. 
Just okay. follow us on Twitter at the Wanderers Pod, we're, Instagram at the, the Wanderers w- Podcast, Facebook at the Wanderers Podcast. What's the YouTube? One? The only one that's different is Twitter because it was too long. Oh, okay. Twitter's at the Wanderers Pod. Okay. And then everything else is Wanderers Podcast. I should know this. Right. But oh, I we don't. just checked out Anchor too. You can do that. Yeah. Check, Check us, us out, out on, on Anchor. Anchor, guys. Anchor is going to be fire. Fire. I'm going to take Colin's word for it. No, seriously, this is like one of those. Let's not get into it, but it's one of those things. We'll get into it. Check us out. That's the end. Take us away, Hank. All right, Hank. Later. I totally cut you off hard. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not that sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All right, see ya. Bye. You want to throw down with a hoedown? I'll get my guitar. I'll get my washboard. I'll go get my string bass, which is really a keyboard. Hey, man, I'm going to go get my banjo. Maybe I'm going to get a little accordion, man. What do you think? No. No, 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 no banjo, man. Let's go. One, two, three. <laughs>